Oh God, this show did not age that well. Oh God. Any last words? I've got three. Run, Barry. Flash Season 9 is the final season of The Flash and is actually split up into two major arcs and a few side episodes in the middle. The first arc deals with the Red Death while the final arc deals with the New World and the middle few episodes is a final crossover event between Green Arrow and The Flash and a few side episodes that you don't even need to watch because... The Flash doesn't even show up in there. You're gonna get used to that because there's a lot of that happening in this season. So far, let's start off with the things I like with this season. I do like how there's two back-to-back -back really great episodes in this season. First really good episode is the Green Arrow, Wally West, Flash crossover event. Seeing Flash and Arrow team up one last time is really, really, really well done. The next really, really good episode is The New World Part 1. New World Part 1 has to deal with Flash being sent back in time to where he sees his parents die. And everything comes full circle. And I really love that. It's a Flash-centric episode. The acting's still pretty good. Yeah, I went back and rewatched the first three seasons of The Flash. I have to say, the first three seasons are really solid. The effects are solid. Everything is solid in those first three seasons. Even the side episodes without The Flash are really solid because they're with the characters we like. Their characters are fun. Those characters are enjoyable. These characters, <laughs> first of all, my major, major complaint about this season is that there are no stakes whatsoever. You think someone's gonna kick the bucket? No, they're fine. And that starts with the Red Death arc. Like, that entire Red Death arc is so disappointing. It feels like an episode of Power Rangers. It clearly shows that the effect budget went to that crossover with the Flash and Green Arrow. Wow, this Red Death arc was really disappointing, man. Side characters as well. The side characters straight up suck. They have their moment to shine in the final four episodes, and it's like, oh, they got really good writers in there for a few seconds to make these characters likable for a few minutes, and then they went back being annoying. Like, what, what, what were they thinking with Caitlyn Snow character? Making her a freaking god in this season? What? Also, side episodes without The Flash? There has been instances in the past, episodes without The Flash were really, really good. Like I said, I went back, rewatched the first three seasons. There were a few episodes without The Flash. It was, was just Cisco, Harry... All them guys going on a side mission, it was still really, really, really good. It was still fun. It was still enjoyable. The side missions we get here are boring, dull, and just not enjoyable because the characters that we see them with aren't enjoyable. If you want to look at a great instance as well of a great side episode, DC's Titans has a great side episode with Beast Boy, and it gives you fan service. It still gives you hype. That's how side episodes should be. They should be enjoyable. They should still be fun, not boring and dull. So let's talk about the final four episodes. It starts off really, really strong, and then flips to Bird and says, Sorry, ran it. we ran out of budget. <laughs> we gotta wrap this show up. And it seems like, oh... At the end of the day, they don't care how they wrap up the show. They just want the show to end. Good God, the way the show ends, it's so rushed. They promised the return of really, really, really great villains. My favorite villain, Savitar Returns, Thawne Returns, Godspeed Returns, with the new villain, Cobalt Blue, which is Eddie Thawne. You think they give them time to shine? <laughs> show up for five minutes and just walk off screen and are like oh well that's all the time we've got because they get taken out i wish i was making this up they get taken out within 10 minutes 
They show up only for 10 minutes. They don't even interact with the Flash. They interact with all the side characters. Then the main villain gets taken out within 30 minutes. And then the sh way the show ends off. First of all, Harrison Wells just shows up out of nowhere. He's like, hey guys, how are you? It's like Tom Cavanaugh. She's like, yeah, guys, you still have me. What? <laughs> oh my God. Overall, The Flash season nine had one job had one job to end off nine seasons of The Flash and to end off the Arrowverse. This finale episode was so disappointing. This entire season was so disappointing. And overall, Flash season nine gets a C minus. If it wasn't for those two episodes with Arrow and The Flash and then The Flash time traveling back to the past to see his mother's death. If it wasn't for those two episodes, this season would have gotten a straight F. This season would have gotten a straight F. Very, very disappointing, guys. And yeah, sadly, The Flash has ran its course. That's all for this time. Punch out like button face like bossy, guys. And next row, bye-bye.